Martini here. I hope your day's going fantastic. I hope you're warm and toasty. We have snow on the ground and I'm super excited about it. Um, as long as I'm inside. As long as I don't have to drive in it. I'm, I'm a happy camper. <laughs> and speaking of happy, um, I'm going to create a card today with the Happy For You die set. This is actually a promotion that Spellbinders, Spellbinders is having. Um, it's a freebie with, I believe, a $125 purchase and I'll leave a link down below to Spellbinders if you want to check out more details about the die. We're going to make a, I guess it would be an anniversary card today, but of course if you don't feel like doing any shopping and you're on a budget, um, you can swap out the Happy For You die that we're going to be using with any kind of shadow um, die any kind of sentiment die that has a shadow or an outline. So it's a pretty basic card that we're going to be creating today. I'm going to use the 3D embossing folder. This is the knock on wood. And then I'm also going to be using, um, I thought we would add some of the zigzag, kind of look like a lightning bolt, <laughs> to go with our card today. This is the sealed squiggles. This one and this one were on sale. I don't know if they still are, but I think they were at a really good price point. If you're looking for a nesting heart die set, I believe this was like $13.99 on sale, regularly $21, I think. Um, I'll link this down below too. So if you are doing a little bit of shopping, don't forget to put the freebie in your cart and check out these two because I think both of these are on sale. The sale may be over by the time I air this, but um, still is a nice nesting die. This is the essential hearts. We're going to be layering some hearts on our card and we're going to add a little glitz and glitter with some champagne glitter cardstock. This is the full pack from Spellbinders. I'm just going to trim down some A2 panels with this. I think she, of all the glitter card stock Spellbinders has, mine is the red. Red's real pretty for Christmas. This is real pretty um, for every day. The champagne is probably my favorite. But I'm going to go ahead and do some die cutting. And we're going to put together a pretty quick and easy card today. We'll take this one with the squigglies. And I want to die cut this out with white card stock. I've been trying to use my scraps. Because I have lots of scratch, um, scraps. With the heart die set, we're going to take the second largest. We're going to take these three. Okay. And then I'm going to die cut out the glitter card, the champagne glitter. Now, I do want to mention this is... This has like a glossy, like a photo finish almost in the back. Um, when you die cut it out. With Spellbinders dies, I have had no problem, but sometimes background dies, if you want to cut it out with this, it, you do probably need a shim or something because of the smooth um, nature of this cardstock. But it is no shed, and it's a nice weight. We're going to die cut this out with glitter. And then while we're die cutting out with glitter, I'm going to take our Happy For You die. And I'm not sure if Spellbinders is going to be selling this, you know, outside of the promotion or not. Um, I'll keep a lookout and let you guys know. But I'm going to take the shadow that says happy and then it leaves a little bit of a rectangle to place the for you. I'm going to die cut that out with the champagne card uh, glitter cardstock too. With my next color heart, I'm going to die cut it out with my pink sand, which is Spellbinders color essential cardstock. And then for the littlest heart, I think this is Sweet Berry. Let me double check it. Wild Berry. So I'm going to die cut this out with Wild Berry. Now for the letters that spell out happy, this is not one piece. It spells out um, the H, A, P, P, and the Y. We'll cut this out with the pink sand. And then the for you, I'm going to bring in a little bit more white. So I'll cut that for you out with white cardstock. So I have a little bit of die cutting to do. I'm going to run everything through and we're going to do some layers. Okay, I have everything die cut out and hi, you going to help me? <laughs> um, and instead of doing one set of the happy, I, I die cut out three. I thought we'd layer it together for a little bit of dimension. So we're going to start by doing that. I'm going to pick up the H, we're going to flip it around, I'm going to add some some glue and then we are just going to add this and do some layering with it. The shadow, there's enough there on the shadow to where you know exactly where to put it. 
and we'll just layer three of the H's together. And so now we have a little bit of dimension to the H. Now I'm going to continue on with the A, the P's, and then the Y, and our greeting would be almost finished. Okay, so we have our happy done. I just love the way this looks. You see the dimension that that has? And then we have the for you. I did put foam tape behind here. We're just going to remove the release paper. We're going to tack this down. And our greeting is... And our little freebie is good to go. I'm going to go ahead and layer all three of my hearts together next. I'm use my tape runner for this. Since this is no shed, it's kind of smooth. You could actually use your tape runner, which is really nice. We'll tack this down. And then I'll add my wild berry. You see what I mean? We could really switch out the greeting if you have a shadow or an outline. Okay, now let's go ahead and do some embossing with our knock on wood embossing folder. I have some Barely Peach cardstock, and I'm going to use my Mighty Mister to spray this since this is 3D. Mighty Mister works great. I'm going to kind of just spray this. I'm going to add it. And you know, I, I'm spraying. This is my alcohol one. I have two of these. One of them has alcohol, the other one has water. I need to label it, and I didn't, but I sprayed this with alcohol. I'm going to run it through and see what it does, because alcohol dries a lot faster than water, and if it works just as well, I'm going to start using alcohol with my Mighty Mister. Okay. And there are no cracks. And you know what? Honestly, I think I like the um, the smell goes away. The alcohol, it dries way faster and I don't have to pull out my heat gun. So, alcohol in the mister. Usually I use it when I use my Copic markers. Um, that's why I have alcohol in one and water in the other, but alcohol works great. Let's go ahead and take this panel and adhere it to the front of our card base. My card base is an A2 size card. I like using the Spellbinders tape runner when I add my um, 3D embossing because it really secures it to your card. There's no forgiveness though. Usually once it's down, once this is down, it's down for good. <laughs> okay, so we have our card base. I'm going to take our hearts. We're going to adhere these. And I'm going to actually adhere it off to the side. I'm going to trim away what's overhanging, minus all the foam tape. Okay. And I'm going to take my little squiggly line. I'm going to flip over my happy for you and I'm going to adhere this I'm on the back side of my happy let's see I think that will be a nice spot I am going to end up having to trim this off the bottom but I'm going to attach these two and then I'm going to use some foam squares and we're going to pop up um, our greeting. Let's go ahead and add our happy for you. I'm going to use my Aura AB Gems and I'm just going to add a little bit to our card here. Okay, I think that's just the right amount and that finishes my card today. Hope you get a chance to check out the freebie that Spellbinders is offering, and I'll leave a link down below. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.